is Derek Walkers from True Life 360, and it's Saturday Strategy again. You know, we're another great weekend, had a great week of work, and now it's time to go ahead and dive a little bit deeper into part two of what we were talking about, which was raising private money. Now, we talked about going ahead and talking to your sphere of influence and the various people that you can approach. But one of the things that I was alluding to for this week is that there's a way to go ahead and make money tax-free. So I invited one of my friends, Jill Banner. She's a owner of a self-directed IRA company called the iPlan Group and also an investor. She has great stories. We became friends because we've done a ton of deals together yeah. through some of my investors. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Jill, we have about 10 minutes in this segment, but uh, if you want to tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. Well, thank you for inviting me here. Um, I am an investor. We do have uh, iPlan Group. We're a self-directed IRA administrator. Um, I use hard money all the time. I have a large group of private investors. You don't, um, I didn't come to them overnight. You kind of work your way into developing a relationship with the in investor. Um, one of the things that I do is I'm always very generous to my investors because I want them to come back. I want them to stand in line and, with their money and say, here, go do another deal. So uh, one thing I'm very uh, uh, good to my investors from an uh, interest standpoint, I give them a high rate of return because I'm making a high rate of return. I can share the wealth. All right. A couple things that she said that was very important, and that was one, building a relationship, because that's going to help you kind of tiptoe away some of the legalities of, uh, you know, the things that are set up there as far as being a broker and some of those things. If you have that relationship uh, and document it, that's very important. And then the second thing is not to be selfish. You know, givers gain. The more that you give, the more you're going to get back and the more deals that they're going to want to do. I mean, how many phone calls do you get from people daily just asking for a deal to go ahead and participate I, in? Yes, I get deals across my desk every day. It's very exciting and fun. That's one of the best parts of my job is I get to see all the deals that come through the office. Okay. I have a, a number of examples, but you know, I wanted to, she's got some really exciting stuff. Tell us about one of your uh, your latest deals. Oh, sure, sure. This was a um, this was a short sale um, that Derek and his colleague have helped me with. They negotiated the short sale with the bank. Uh, the short sale was um, we negotiated a two hundred and twenty four thousand dollar loan. Uh, the bank agreed to sell us the property for one hundred and eighty. Um, I used two of two lenders on this. One had a 401k, mm -hmm. so he was earning a rate of return. I gave him 2% per month. That's 24% APR. That seems so high, but I'm making 50 grand in 30 days. I can afford to be generous. Um, this 24% APR was in his 401k, so he's not paying taxes on that gain. Um, here's the other thing. The property's worth about a quarter million dollars, so I borrowed 200000 Now, as I mentioned, Derek negotiated the short sale at 180000 Why would I need 200000 Because I wanted some extra money at closing. So I closed on this property with none of my own money, using my investor's money, and I got a check for over $18,000 back to play with for 30 days. I sold it 30 days later for 232000 paid off my investors, paid all the closing costs, and got another check at that point. So I got two checks, one at closing and then one at the second closing for the uh, one I purchased and then one I sold it again. So I used none of my own money, got a check right away and got a check in 30 days later. Oh, wow, that, that's that's ludicrous. So you know, I'm sure people are sitting out there, well, you know, wow, that, that could never happen to me. But, but it can. And, and what kind of pearls of wisdom can you share out of that? It absolutely can. Keep your ears open. If people know you're in the game, if they know you're a real estate investor, be proud that you're a real estate investor. When you meet somebody, tell them you're a real estate investor or that you, um, you know, help kind of raise private, private money and develop a relationship with them. The other huge key to this is if we can find the investors nice rates of return secured by real estate, inside of their IRA, it's just icing on the cake. So many people are used to getting 3% returns or losing money with the stock um, volatility and crashes. If they can get a decent rate of return, you don't have to give them 24% uh, percent a year. You can give them 8. 8 secured by real estate, they're going to be you know, right in their check, especially with their IRA. Right. 8 in their IRA is really like 12 in the marketplace because you're in a tax-deferred or tax-free environment. Wow. And then uh, I heard a rumor is, can you do the same thing with an HSA? You absolutely can do this with your HSA. And with healthcare inflation and things that are going on with the administration, Obamacare, we are really going to need to pack our HSAs. And this is a really good way to turbocharge your HSA by buying a rental house or a short sale or private lending in your HSA. 
Okay, so we, we had talked about uh, the different people that you can approach, but what's the best way to explain this to somebody? That's a really great question, and it's a challenge to most people because you, when you're approaching someone, you kind of need to be an expert in self-directed IRAs, you need to be an expert in mortgage notes, uh, first position liens. So my advice is if you try to pretend that you're something that you're not, you're going to look like you don't know what you're doing. So right. here's where you need to bring in your team. If you're trying to explain self-directed IRAs to someone and they're still, uh, they, don't, they don't get it, call our office, schedule a strategy session with us, with your investor. Mm -hmm. You can have your investor on the phone. We will educate them on how legal this is, how to execute it, and, um, and make that happen for them. So wait a minute, so you're saying just like you'd have a title company or a, a team realtor, that you would become a part of someone's team just to help them out? Absolutely. We oh, will wow. educate your investor to make them feel comfortable lending their IRA money to you for a deal. Now, I won't say this deal is a good deal or a bad deal. I'll just explain that, yes, you can use these funds. Here's how you do it. Okay. The other person that's important on your team, too, is a, is a, a real estate attorney. Um, we can educate them on how to execute this with their self-directed IRA, but you're going to want that real, a real estate attorney to be able to explain to them that this is legal, this is how you protect yourself with a lien and a deed and um, promissory note and different types of promissory notes. So if you have that, I call it the three, the three prong approach, if you have the relationship, we educate them on how to use their IRA and then the attorney comes in and um, shows them how to make it legal and how they're protected. And then it's a then that's a much easier sale for to use their funds. Wow! So then uh, at this point, are you, we're talking about IRAs. I know this is like more than ten minute conversation, but real quick, I mean, if someone has money laying around, or if they have an old IRA, or I mean, what are some of the things? A line of credit. What can they do to? If you have an if you've had had a four hundred one k at an old job, you can roll that over and start using. The other thing that you can do is, let's say you have a small IRA, you just started, or you're younger, and you mm -hmm. only have 5000 in it, you want to buy a $40,000 house. You can use your private money, you can use both your IRA as the down payment, private money to make up the difference to purchase the house. Wow. You can leverage your IRA, it's really an amazing thing. I told you that's why that's a friend of mine. Keep going. And you can do some really exciting things. We talk about wholesaling or like this uh, short sale that I did. Um, I use none of my own money. Mm -hmm. So let's say that I put $1,000 of my own money down. Let's say I used my Roth. I turned that $1,000 into $50,000. Guess what? My Roth just grew from $1,000 to $50,000 using leverage. Mm -hmm. So this works in wholesale deals, subject tos, where you have very high rates of return but very low money down. Do those in your Roth all day long, you'll turbocharge it. And then you'll never pay taxes. A Roth is a beautiful thing. Right. Yeah, I'm just really starting to kind of get into the whole thing myself. So it's it's a learning process for, for me too, and that's why I spend a lot of time here. But uh, are you going to be attending the, the Mastermind coming up yes, in Chicago? Yes, absolutely. That's going, to be, I, that's going to be an amazing event. And I go to a lot, I travel a lot, and I always learn something from these types of events. And some of the things I've made a couple hundred bucks, some of them I've made thousands of dollars just meeting with like-minded people who have different ideas, information, and resources. Wow. So just a reminder, uh, I kind of threw it out there, but uh, we're looking at the first week of May to go ahead and have the mastermind. We'll include the information here at the bottom of the screen so you can go ahead and, and refer back to it. But uh, yeah, this would be an awesome person to go ahead and mastermind with. Uh, I'm sure you're going to bring some information with absolutely, you. Absolutely, absolutely. And I'm really committed as an investor. I mean, iPlan Group was built by investors for investors. So I'm very committed to other people's success. And we are here to help in any way that we can. Um, just call our office, schedule a strategy session. Um, we'd love to help any way that we can. Okay. You know, looking at my timer, and wow, time just flies by whenever you're talking about good stuff. But uh, just to recap, you know, just when you talk to your sphere of influence, let them know that there's ways for them to go ahead and use their their self or create a self-directed IRA to with a secured asset in real estate. And if you could just go ahead and go, you go to the website. Uh, to go ahead and get some information and then set an appointment. And they'll be a part of your team to go ahead and get that started. For you.